Back here at home tonight, Seattle's former police chief is among those now openly questioning the city council's proposed cuts to the police department. As we first told you this week, the council is discussing whether to shave millions of dollars more from the public safety budget at a time when the department says it's down nearly 200 officers. King 5's Chris Daniels live in Seattle with our story tonight. Chris. Mark Carmen Best is a King 5 law enforcement analyst and says the Seattle City Council, in her words, is, quote, highly reckless in their approach to her former department. Public safety is in jeopardy. A bold and statement from Seattle's former chief. All of that money matters uh, in terms of having the resources to deploy in the field and to arbitrarily take it at uh, this juncture it is highly you know, reckless in some ways. Carmen and, Best says uh, the Seattle Council's good. latest budget discussion to remove $5.4 million will take the department in the wrong direction at a time when it already is down nearly 200 officers in a year. I believe that the council actually approved a $5.4 million increase in the police department's budget late last year in recognition that they had had overspent last year. Council so member Lisa Herbal. It seems like an apples to oranges kind of move. And we did over uh, increase overtime spending uh, for the department. And now we want to have a conversation about whether and how to adjust the budget in 2021. The conversation comes at a moment in time when there are concerns about a rise in hate crimes on Asian Americans and the mayor's public declaration to stop them. We're going to add additional patrols. But how do you add more patrols when the chief and others say that SPD is in a staffing crisis? We are we are absolutely have lost way too many officers and adds best. The city's population has grown by 150,000 in a decade, uh, and yet the police force has been reduced uh, by almost 20 percent. That that is not a way to provide public safety without some plan of how are you going to answer those calls for service? How are we going to address these people in crisis? The mayor, current chief and former chief are taking their arguments public, it seems like at this point about this conversation, which has happened really behind the Zoom world, behind the public eyes. The next conversation on all of this scheduled for Tuesday, again, in a Zoom environment before the Seattle City Council. That's the story for now, live in real life. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5. All right, Chris, thank you. We continue to